Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 2 Vohal's Revenge, where we are in a room with Vohal and his insurance salesman clones. Now, I don't know if this is sort of towards the end of the game. There's still quite a lot of score at the top there, so I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to look around, and also the last one, we had our first ever episode of Space Quest without a death, which I'm really, really ple <laughs> pleased about, actually. Um, I don't think it will ever happen again, perhaps, between this and the end of Space Quest 6, but we shall see. Um, an eerie glow illuminates the large chamber. Through the massive window, you can see out into deep space. Lighted consoles adorn the area behind Vohal's perch. Vohal awaits at the top of the stairway. Uh, can we look at these clones then? These guys are your worst nightmare come true. Imagine hundreds of John Davidsons in magnetically hazardous polyester suits, the colour alone capable of rendering helpless the infirm. Topped with permabond hair, the face splashed with that let me win you over smile. <laughs> He's a master guiltsmith programmed with one intent. Sell, sell, sell! Each are encased in pre-programmed impervious transport capsules. Uh, can we open the capsule? Do we want to do that? You can't cut this super hard glass. But we do have a glass cutter. So that could potentially be something that we can look into. Let's look around again. Um, okay, so there's a window, consoles, and obviously Vohal himself. You can't make out much detail from here. Okay, let's look at the window. Through the massive window, you can see out into the depths of space toward distant systems. So many other places are out there to be, but you, but here you are. Okay, yeah. Uh, can we look at the console, maybe? You can't make out the detail from here. So I guess we can go up there. Um, the question is, is there anything else we can look at around here before we... No, that's just part of the asteroid, I guess. We can go around the back of this, can we? Yes, we can. Uh, what are these lights over here? They sure are pretty. Um, can we press lights? Press button? Are they buttons? Get closer. Press button. Get closer. Okay, so there's obviously a button somewhere. Do you know what? Let's go up and talk to Vohal, I guess. See what we've got here. Going somewhere, ha ha ha. Oh God, what's that? What's that? As soon as you step on the platform, you're struck by a beam of light emitted from a unit in the ceiling. In a matter of seconds, you are broken down into micro particles and extracted from the air. Are we dead? Again, the beam strikes, this time blasting into a glass jar on the console. It is there that you are molecularly reconstructed in a miniaturized form. Oh God. Well, I'll be darned. My miniaturization beam does work. Vohal's voice booms. I didn't realise that was Vohal. In the old days, I'd test these things on myself, but as you may have noticed, my appearance, being my own guinea pig, has had its disadvantages. I guess this will keep you out of my way once and for all. You'll make a nice conversation piece. With that, Vohal turns away to put finishing touches on Zenon's fate. Uh, okay, but we can move still. You're trapped in a glass jar sitting on the surface of Vohal's control console. Alright, let's 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 just save here and call it jar. Uh, but it is glass, right? So perhaps we can use the glass cutter. Ha-ha! The newly cut pane of glass falls to the counter. Apparently Vohal doesn't notice. We're free. Alright, uh, let's look around again. Look around. You are on the surface of a console. A large, compared to you, jar sits in the middle. A hole has been cut in the side. There are some vents near the back. Ah, let's look at the vents then. From here, all you can see is the vent exterior. Uh, where is the vent? Look, vent. As you turn your attention to the vent, you notice it to be quite dark. You hear a rhythmic hum of some sort of mechanical device and something that sounds like industrial strength breathing. It might be coming from the vent. Uh, can we enter the vent? You aren't in a good place to do that. Oh, is it this over here? Also, sorry if you hear that drilling in the background. Of course, one of my neighbours has decided that this exact moment when I sit down to play a game without any background noise is the perfect moment to do some drilling. So, okay, we're in. You wiggle your slim carcass through the vent. Oh, God, look at this. What is this? Judging from those two hoses coming in from outside, you guess that this is the inner workings of Vohal's life support system. A respirator pumps oxygen into his lungs while a pump on the back wall forces blood through filters. Uh, there is also a sign on the back wall. Alright, let's look at the sign. Seriously, why do people decide to do this? They've had like all day 
to do drilling and then the moment i go on my lunch break and decide to record this it's like yeah let's do some drilling uh anyway look at the sign the sign says caution press button for emergency shut off let's do that you'll need to be closer uh all right where's where is the button oh is that it over there is it this thing push button way to go roger wilco you've just disconnected vohal's life support system he's a goner without it nice is he dead i mean is it that easy <laughs> look around uh okay the function of life support the pump and respirator are quiet now uh all right let's have a look at the pump it's inactive now can we can we like break it somehow i feel like you can maybe turn it back on uh what was that look at hose maybe i don't think it's in view right now all right so maybe that was all we had to do in here let's uh exit the vent then you can see Vohal struggling to take his last few breaths not you again you think you have won he wheezes all you have done is to seal your own fate he reaches up and flips a switch on the far end of the console before dropping to the floor dead oh no is that a self-destruct again Ooh, what's this we're on a keyboard look around you're walking on another section of the control console. There is a large switch on the back panel. A keyboard is at your feet. Uh, look at the keyboard. I feel like he's set a self-destruct or something. It's just your typical keyboard keys with normal letters on them. Right, let's look at this switch then. Look. Switch. The switch is in toggle type. It's currently off. Uh, pull switch. Reduce or enlarge. Enlarge. Type the words you want. Type in large. Whee! That was fast. Sequence has begun. Sequence has begun. Alright, okay. Um, what do we do now then? Look around. You're walking on... Uh, so where do, where do we go to get, like, resized? Do we, do we go back this way? Oh, there's like a beam. Okay. Okay, we're getting zapped. Nice. You are once again reconstituted. This time to the correct size. You notice that the clones are gone. Oh no. Did we have to like destroy the clones or something? Uh, let's put big again. <laughs> Not bing. Big again. Uh, right. So the clones are gone. An eerie glow illuminates the large chamber. Through the massive window, you can see out into the deep space. Vohal's motionless mass is heaped loosely at the base of his chair. Can we look at Vohal? Vohal's dead hulking slab of flesh is loosely arranged at the base of the chair. Uh, look at the consoles. So I guess he pressed the button. The console is loaded with indicator lights, except one on the left. The screens are filled with numbers, which would only make sense to Vohal. Uh, right, let's look at the screen, maybe. Oh, God, what is this? General status, orbit decaying, prognosis terminal, interior environment okay, external temperature critical, auxiliary, clone launch go. Uh, to, to abort launch, enter code below. What code? Launch countdown is six minutes, but going quite fast. Uh, to abort, launch, enter code below. Oh, God, what code? Ab abort. Abs abort denied. Um, abort code. L to abort launch, enter code below. Is it going to be something stupid like this again? Code? No. <laughs> All right. Um, right, so we need to find a code. Um, oh, God. Look, code. <laughs> I don't understand code. No. Um, oh, God. Right, maybe we can search his body. An examination of his repulsively turgid fabric encased mass reveals nothing other than tubes which supplied him with blood and oxygen. You do notice the letters SHSR written in pen on the back of his left hand. SHSR. May maybe that's the one? SHSR. Yes! Abort granted! Come on, yes! All right. So, this... Ooh, we're down to four and a half minutes. So, we've aborted the launch. I get the feeling we've missed something. So, I'm not going to get too excited. Uh, 
Aborted launch. Right, no clones, no clones now. Oh god, this is stressful. Well, Roger Wilco, you found one more way to snatch humiliation from the jaws of heroism. <laughs> Why? All that, all that. I, I mean, I don't. Like I said, I don't. I don't know if we if we've missed something here. I mean, it feels like aborting the launch was a good thing, but I can't believe we've just died by falling off these rather ridiculous looking. Why have they made these? Honestly, why have they made these stairs so evil to walk up? I feel like this is like one final troll just to get you right at the end of the game. In all honesty. Um, right, okay, we can do the diagonal walk. Oh god, okay, where are we now? You're walking through a clear tubular passageway which seems to wind in and out along the outer perimeter of the asteroid. There is a box mounted on the west end of this tube. Look, box... The box is actually an oxygen mask receptacle. It's currently closed. Open box. You open the box and notice an oxygen mask. Remove it and close the box. So we've got an oxygen mask. So, uh, no, we don't want to save over that one. Uh, oxygen mask. I really hope that we haven't screwed up here. Uh, okay, so out we go this way, I guess. Is there another screen? Okay. Okay, he's just going to run up there on his own. Good. Oh, God. Where are we going now? Uh, can we use the one? Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. Right, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. That's cracking. A section of the glass tubing has fractured from combined stress. The pressurized atmosphere rushes from the relative vacuum of space. Nope. Due to the effect of the air rushing by you to get out the hole, the air in your lungs is sucked out and you find it impossible to get more. Hence, you struggle. But die. You only had 198 points anyway. No big loss. <laughs> I love how they're just throwing all of these little deaths at us on what I assume is... is I say I assume it's the end of the game, but we're only on 198 of 250. So actually, unless we're going to get a huge, huge increase in score between now and i don't know however long we've got to go right put put on oxygen mask all right screw you hole in the wall we've got our mask on a uh, you're okay fortunately wearing the mask protects you from suffocation there we go we're fine no longer needing the mask you remove and stow it for later oh no alarms not good not good um right let's just save over this one and call it um, alarms. Uh, look around. It's just another section of hall. There is a door on the back wall. Yeah, I know. We've, we've been that way. Right. Where the hell are we going? Uh, right. Look around. You are somewhere. Brilliant. Thanks for that. <gasps> We're here. Ah, this is how we get here. Okay, so... Uh, look around. You're in a rather large room to the west of the vehicle bay. There are two elevated walkways here. One leads to an elevator in the middle. The other leaves the room to the right and left. Okay, so one... Right, so can we get back to the shuttle maybe? And just... I, I get the feeling we might die if we drop down here. Of course, it's a short step to the end of the game for you. You're no Buddy Ebsen. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right, let's try going left then. Um, Alright, look around. Surface of small windows, the area is much like all the other interior sections of the asteroid. Again, not, not much to work with there. Alright, another hallway. You are somewhere. <laughs> okay, we are somewhere. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What is that thing? Look, droid. It's a very odd looking robot, balanced on two legs with an odd electric eye scanning back and forth. On it are the words Vohal Marrowmatic. 40 minutes to meltdown. A synthesized voice cheerfully announces. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, do you know what? Let's, let's walk into this thing. I think it's going to kill me. 
Any curiosity you may have harboured regarding the menacing metallic pest will now be satisfied as you have drawn too close. Your attention is attracted to a decal on the front of the machine. It says, the Vohal Marrowmatic. This rouses your curiosity. Suddenly you note that each and every bone in your body feels as though it has been transformed into molten matter. Never slow to catch on, you notice that you are cooking from the inside out. Lovely. Now this is a pain that lingers. Every drop of moisture is purged from your system by the intense heat of the internal barbecue. Your dehydrated composition makes it impossible to continue. Better luck next time, Roger Wilco. Yay! Well, guys, we're on our way out, but I think I'm going to leave it there for this one. So we'll try and figure out how to get past that thing in the next one. Maybe we've got to walk all the way along that sort of central um, area and then out to the right, because I know there's a way out to the right there as well. So we'll try that next time. But... Uh, Vohal's dead at least, which is a good thing, I guess. We aborted the launch of the clones, so that feels like a good thing. Now we've just got to get out of here. Um, so as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit on that like button. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Velos for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.